interviews du doc. C'est maintenant sur Vinyl Time. Et ben voilà les amis, alors on va attaquer une interview, alors on, est en, on va être en anglais et en français, voilà. Alors j'ai un très très grand plaisir ce soir euh, à recevoir euh, bah, dans l'émission de Last Ride avec le doc, on va parler avec Ty Tabort, voilà, c'est le guitariste de King X, euh, mais c'est aussi un super super euh, chanteur, il fait beaucoup de choses, et il sort un nouvel album qui s'appelle... Shades. Voilà, il est disponible via le label Rat Pack Records, c'est disponible le 4 mars, et puis il y a déjà plein de bonnes nouveautés, en tout cas Ty va nous en parler. Ty, first of all, thank you, thank you so much to accept my invitation, it's a great pleasure to speak about you, your new release, Shades. Oh, thank you, thank you for having me, I appreciate it, thank you. So, just before we start, uh, uh, Ty, we speak about last time when you see you on stage was on Miami. <laughs> And this is in 2020 on a boat. What a long time. That's Two right. years after, That's we right. speak again at the end of February. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The last time uh, King's X performed was on that, on that ship. <laughs> so that's a great pleasure to speak today, not only about King X, but about your last solo album, who is very special for you, uh, due to uh, some uh, bad, bad things, bad news you have uh, on your life. Uh, so first of all, congratulations for this one, because it's one of my favorite albums since the beginning of this uh, 20, 22 years. And first of all, first questions, how you find all your uh, idea to create this new release shades um i don't i don't really know where ideas come from uh i i really don't i mean because i i will come in here and try to write some days and just nothing comes and then other days i try to write and things just you know just it's like a gift you know mm -hmm. and things just kind of come So I, all I know is that on the new record, there was a lot that was going on in life that was pretty heavy. And a lot of times when things are, are really heavy and, and really tough, um, for some reason, uh, those are good times to try to, to write things down try to, and try to come up with artistic expression. Because I think some of the best artistic expression comes from you know, true pain, true, true terribleness. And there was certainly uh, uh, quite a bit of that at the beginning of my you know, writing for this record. However, the whole record is not just the, the bad stuff. I, <laughs> I, rec I, recognized, I recognized early on that I couldn't make a whole record be that, that dark and heavy uh, you know, emotionally. So I just wrote two or three things to get that out of my system. And then I tried to make the rest of the record go to different places so it's not too too sad <rire> et ben voilà donc alors les amis on va, on va je vais vous traduire tout ça bien sûr donc alors l'album de Ty Ty Bort, qui est le guitariste notamment de King X mais pas que hein, parce que c'est un super chanteur on va en parler euh, donc il sort un nouvel album qui s'appelle Shades et donc la première question c'était d'où vient d'où sont venues toutes les idées parce que pour le coup euh, vous savez il y a eu bon il a, il a perdu son papa et donc derrière bah, il y a beaucoup d'idées qui sont venues à travers ça et donc la première question c'était où trouver les idées donc il, il sait pas des fois ça vient comme ça et c'est comme un cadeau et il a dit un gift qui arrive et, euh, et il peut euh, bah, faire euh, créer des choses euh, comme, comme il vient de vous le dire alors l'idée aussi derrière tout ça c'est pas non plus de rendre cet album triste et, 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 et sombre c'est aussi de proposer beaucoup beaucoup de musique et en tout cas cet album il y a beaucoup beaucoup de musique uh, so Ty since um, the, uh, the uh, approach of the new release with March the f uh, 4 March 2022 you share two songs right now Sister Genocide and Inside Uh, these two songs are a little bit different, um, and, and I said that Sister Genocide is more, um, I would like to say, uh, uh, léger, uh, it's, uh, it's like a, 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 you, you have the songs on your, on, on your hands to provide a lot of feelings, and, and insane a little bit uh, more, um, I would like to say, uh, not heavy, but uh, a little bit different between Sister Genocide. Uh, this is very important for you to share two different approaches on this new release uh, for the uh, listener. Well, I think that the way the album is that you could choose any two songs at all. You could flip a coin and choose any two songs and it would be that way because uh, there really isn't, uh, you know, there isn't anything on the album that's repeated. 
Um, I think every song kind of goes to a different place intentionally. And I, and so I knew that when we put something out that there really wouldn't be any single one or two songs that really represent the whole album. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just I just ha asked Joe to put out whatever he felt best uh, as the singles, and those are the two that he chose because okay. I... I was a little too close to it, and all the songs are so different. I, I don't know what the best ones to put out first are. So I, I let Joe do that, and uh, he chose those two. And <laughs> Joe is, you know, the, the head of Red Rat Pack. Right? Yes, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. Bah voilà, donc alors comment euh, comment il a commencé bah, Alors il y a deux titres qui sont déjà disponibles, les amis. Il y a donc Sister Genocide, on va en reparler, et Insane, qui sont alors deux approches différentes. De, et puis en fait, comme on, le, comme on le dit, tous les titres sont un petit peu différents. Donc on en a pris deux euh, dans l'album. Et puis c'est pas lui qui a choisi, hein, c'est surtout euh, Joe, le, le responsable du label Rat Pack, euh, qui a dit bah il lui a dit bah vas-y prends ce que tu as envie d'écouter et puis on le mettra dessus. Donc effectivement, vous allez voir, c'est un tout petit peu différent. Par contre, je vous invite vraiment à aller regarder la vidéo de Sister Genocide parce qu'elle est vraiment magnifique. Et c'est un très très beau clip. Uh, in other end, Ty, the, um, this uh, video for coming for si Sister Genocide, it's one of the most uh, beautiful uh, lyrics videos that, uh, that you create. In fact, and the music plus uh, the video was fantastic. Oh, good. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and what is the idea between these uh, lyrics and this um, this video and, and the song? Because it's like a, it's like a, um, I would like to say a, a, a film or something like that. It's very it's when when you see this um, this video and and and, it's, and and this music, it's like you say, wow, what a fantastic idea! When when we came this idea with between this uh, um, this uh, video and, and and put the song of Sister Genocide on it. Well, um, Sister Genocide just happened to be one of the songs that that Joe was immediately drawn to when I first played him the record. And so I think he immediately, uh, this matter of fact, we had this, uh, we had this video done uh, a long time ago. Uh, I finished the album over a year ago, <laughs> but then the, but then the uh, vinyl industry kind of went nuts and we couldn't get product. So um, we actually, you know, we're planning on releasing the album way before now, but we couldn't get vinyl. Uh, but all this time, way, way back in the beginning, uh, Joe loved the song Sister Genocide. And so uh, there's a guy that he really loves to use for lyric videos. So we started way back then, uh, you know, he gave, he gave the song to, to his, his guy that he really trusts. And then we just started commenting on it, you know, and uh, just working on it. But I basically, all I had to do was provide the music. And and um, the artist who did the video had a very good eye uh, for capturing the, the vibe and capturing the yeah. mysteriousness of the song. That's 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 one when totally crazy when I see this lyric video. I said, wow, what's it's like a dream theater coming with symphonics with the uh, this vibe of uh, King's X and something like that. It's a lot, a lot of different things. When you see this video, I said, wow, what's totally crazy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, you know, we couldn't do a, a video with a band. Yeah. Uh, so so we knew lyric video was was the only way to go <laughs> and that we should so we and if we're going to do a lyric video it needs to be a really good video so <laughs> yes for sure luckily, luckily, yeah. so yes, luckily it, it worked out et ben voilà donc alors pour ceux qui n'ont pas encore découvert la, 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 la vidéo, le, le titre « Sister Genocide », je vous invite vraiment à aller regarder cette vidéo. Elle est disponible sur le site Vinyl Time. Vous pouvez aller y jeter un oeil. Et, et elle est magnifique parce qu'il y, y a vraiment une composition. Et, et, et comme le dit euh, Thaï, le Badjo, le, le patron de, de Rat Pack, il, il adore cette chanson. Donc il fallait faire quelque chose. Ils en ont discuté. Et puis ils ont trouvé un artiste qui a fait cette vidéo. Et cette vidéo, elle est magnifique. On voit vraiment euh, la vidéo plus le son euh, sur ce, 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 ce titre. C'est fantastique. Et comme il le dit, bah, c'est un petit peu compliqué aussi aujourd'hui de pouvoir toujours euh, à l'époque bien sûr hein, puisque l'album était prêt il y a un moment il y avait toujours ces problèmes de vinyle d'époque mais en tout cas euh, c'est compliqué d'avoir euh, les artistes autour d'une d'une même euh, d'une même salle et de filmer euh, tout en concert uh, Ty another questions uh, do you think for uh, King X for uh, just one word about King X of course hein? 
do you think it's very important for you, for for do, for for, uh, for for the creation um, during King X to make uh, you and, and the rest of the band some uh, solo albums? It's more, it's more your. Um, since many years, of course, you create a lot of different solo albums. And I think for you, it's a good alchemy uh, for the band King Zix to have uh, in one end your career in solo and in other end your career with King Zix. Um, well, um, I don't really uh, separate the two much. Um, I don't really think in terms of king's x or solo when i write music i just write music <laughs> and if king's x is doing something i'll i will turn that music into king's x mm. and if uh if king's x isn't doing anything then i'll use it for solo music or for jelly jam or whatever else yeah of course yeah. but but um i don't really think in terms of bands when i write i just write and um whatever the opportunity is is whatever i turn that music into Uh, so if I happen to be working with King's X on new stuff, then whatever I've written lately, I'll turn that in, you know. But it's never really written with King's X in mind. It's just, it's just I just write and uh, use it wherever there's an opportunity. <rire> et ben voilà donc euh, la petite question c'est effectivement est-ce que vous savez euh, Doug Picnic a sorti un album il n'y a pas très longtemps Ty va sortir le sien euh, voilà donc il y, a, il y a une partie en beaucoup de solo puis il y a une partie euh, King's X euh, de l'autre côté est-ce que la question c'était est-ce que c'était important pour eux d'être chacun de leur côté en fait non euh, comme il le dit Ty lui il écrit il écrit il écrit il crée c'est un créateur et puis euh, il crée pas voilà quand il a des idées il les fait soit c'est en solo soit c'est pour King X et puis euh, après on les retrouve euh, soit d'un côté ou l'autre ou quand les titres sont pas bons euh, pour King X ou en veulent pas, bah, ils les mettent euh, sur leurs albums solo. Voilà comment ils fonctionnent. En tout cas, euh, on a grand plaisir à discuter, bien sûr, vous l'avez compris, avec Ty Tabor, voilà, qui sort un album qui s'appelle Insane au mois de mars. Ça va être disponible, bien sûr, sur le Rat Pat Records. Et il y a plein de bonnes choses à, à, à récupérer. Uh, Ty, uh, in other hands, with Rat Pat Records, we have a lot of beautiful stuff. Hein? We have a vinyl, we have a cassette, we have a, um, we have, we have a tape, uh, we have a CD, we have Blundell, hey, what a good idea, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, um, Joe is really good about um, making packages that people love. And um, the packages are the most important, are, are the uh, biggest thing. I mean, most people buy some type of package bundle, it seems. Um, so, yeah, Joe is really good at coming up with packages that people like and <laughs> lots of nice little cool surprises and stuff. So, I'm very happy with with uh, all of the different product versions uh, that that they've made available. Ah bah voilà, ah bah vous l'avez compris, hein, l'album il va sortir, alors il y, a, il y a des vinyles, il y a des cassettes, il y a des, euh, il y a des packs, euh, il y a des, des, bien sûr une partie signée, euh, il y a des CD, enfin il y a plein de choses, vous allez sur le site de Rat Pack, vous allez trouver euh, plein de choses, et comme le dit Ty, euh, Joe, le, le patron de Rat Pack, il a toujours des super idées euh, pour faire des, des, des packages qui vont faire plaisir à tout le monde, et, euh, et je peux vous assurer que la qualité chez Rat Pack est liée, parce que moi je commande beaucoup de trucs. Euh, Ty, in other end, you have not only a fantastic guitar player but we have with but we have a fantastic voice um i think maybe we have to create only uh maybe some some new records only with your voice and not with uh with only uh, your guitar and your voice uh, do you think maybe we can um, um it's possible maybe uh, in next time to have a tie on uh, another band only with the uh, with this voice of tie <laughs> Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you're asking. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I, I just said you are you are a beautiful singer. So maybe do you think um, maybe one band maybe next time uh, pick up only your voice uh, to make some record and not only your guitar and your voice. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what you're asking. I'm really sorry. No, no, no. I, 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 okay, I would like to say you are a fantastic singer, uh, and I love and I love your your voice and something like that. Uh, do you think maybe uh, you have the possibility to play only with your voice and not with your guitar for another record or something like that? Are you asking if I would ever make a record just singing and not yes, playing guitar? Yes. 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 Uh, oh no, I would never ever do that. No. 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 <laughs> I don't think I'm a singer. I think I'm a guitar player who has to sing because uh, it's solo work, so I have to sing. But um, 
I always think of myself as a songwriter and guitarist, not not as a singer. Uh, I only sing because I have to, and I don't really enjoy singing that much. So, <laughs> especially like in King's X, um, there are there are songs that Doug sings that I write, and mm. and I'm more comfortable now with his voice on my stuff than than me singing. <laughs> Bon bah voilà la question c'était effectivement est-ce que peut-être un jour on aura un album avec euh, avec Ty Only euh, seulement avec sa voix mais pas avec sa guitare il dit non non je suis pas un chanteur je suis un guitariste et puis dans King X of course et bah, il aime bien euh, que que Doug chante et son son, son travail et pas et pas le reste um, Ty what is the next uh, the next plan after this uh, record in March uh, do you plan some uh, some gigs of course uh, only with your uh, with your uh, solo solo record or do you plan some some gigs again with King X Uh, at the beginning in, in US and maybe we come in uh, in Europe uh, later. Uh, yeah, we're actually supposed to be King's X is supposed to be in Europe in September. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we have an extensive tour already booked. Uh, it's been canceled twice so far because <laughs> of COVID. Yeah. But uh, but we plan on coming this time, and uh, we have some shows before then also, uh, and then we have a bunch of American shows right after that. So. Uh, right now, King's X is going to get very busy because we're, you know, releasing our first new album in a very long time, mm -mm -mm. and uh, it, it's going to be all King's X this year. Et eh ben voilà, donc vous l'avez compris, donc le plan hein, c'est surtout euh, bah, que King X normalement vient en Europe en septembre si tout se passe bien et puis il y a un nouvel album qui doit sortir hein, ça fait longtemps, longtemps, longtemps que King X n'a pas sorti d'album, ça va être euh, ça va être du, du bonheur et puis euh, bah, entre, entre temps pendant cette pandémie, donc euh, Ty aura sorti son album, Doug aura sorti son album euh, voilà, on les retrouvera, ils sont tous les deux chez Rad Pack, vous, vous foncez chez Rad Pack et puis euh, vous commandez c'est magnifique, euh, c'est magnifique à euh, album. Um, just before the end Ty, I have one song I maybe I really appreciate on this album is called One Drop of Water uh, and I think this is my favorite <laughs> and uh, and maybe do you think you can play some songs or maybe one song uh, during this tour or maybe uh, you can open for King X with your uh, with your release <laughs> oh no no <laughs> <laughs> no uh, King X shows uh wear me out there's no way i could do another show before a king's X show <laughs> i've actually been uh we've had bands uh, well it's a long story I, i once had another band ask me if i would join them and if king's x would open for the band i'm joining and then i could play both shows and i i turned them down on both accounts because i i don't think i could do two shows <laughs> <laughs> Et eh ben voilà, donc la question c'est effectivement est-ce que il euh, bah, y a des, des titres qui sont super bien hein Moi je, je vous conseille One Drop of Water. Est-ce que et puis sur la sur le ton de la boutade, je demandais à, à Thaï s'il serait capable de faire euh, la première partie de King X. Alors il dit non non non, non c'est trop compliqué, il y a beaucoup trop de choses. Et euh, et puis euh, il, faut, il veut se concentrer uniquement effectivement sur les les les, les la, la partie de King X, même si un, un groupe une fois lui avait demandé et puis il a dit non, c'est trop compliqué, trop lourd et ça sera pas possible. Uh, one word I would like to say again, Ty. Uh, this album is very, it's fantastic because I passed a lot of time uh, to listen to these uh, beautiful songs. And each time when I listen to this album, since uh, I received the promo, uh, I find something. It's a little bit, uh, maybe sometimes it's a new riff, sometimes it's a lyric, sometimes it's, uh, it's different each time. So I think it's uh, when, when we come back uh, at, at the list on our part, I think it's a great, great, great pleasure for you to say um, we have different things to be discovered. We have time to discover each song. And with this release, Shades, this is totally uh, my understanding. When I put the CD, uh, I listened many times and I said, oh, okay, this is fantastic. Oh, this is a new riff. Oh, okay, I don't see it. Uh, it is exactly what you want with this release. Um, that is exactly what the goal was to... I mean, it's always uh, my preference to make records that uh, people don't necessarily get it the very first time through. And a lot of times that's, you know, that's a bad thing because a lot of people will never come back to it after their first impression. But I know that my favorite albums, uh, you know, throughout history are albums that I hear something new every time I listen to it, no matter how many times I hear it. Mm -hmm. um, those are the albums that are most special to me. So when I'm when I was recording this record, 
I was trying to think that way. I was I was trying to put in loads of little things that would take a long time to discover, and uh, but that had a, you know emotional purpose. You know, wasn't just for trickery. It was for just building the songs, and I took a lot of time with that. And I and I hoped it would be exactly that kind of a record, the kind where on the second or third time you you like it better than the first time. Mm. And that's the case for this one. Shades. Wow. Voilà, la, la, oh, la, <rire> la question pour Thaï, c'était... Alors moi, je l'ai écouté plusieurs fois, cet album, et on découvre plein de choses. Et, et je voulais savoir si c'était effectivement ce qu'il aimait. Et lui, il est comme moi, en fait. Euh, on peut écouter un album une fois, deux fois, dix fois, trente fois, quarante fois, et toujours découvrir des choses. Et ça va dans le sens de ce qu'il a voulu créer dans Shades. Et en tout cas, euh, moi, je vous invite, euh, dès que vous pouvez, d'aller écouter ce disque, parce que vous allez découvrir plein de choses dedans et c'est vraiment une très très bonne surprise et en tout cas euh, moi j'ai apprécié beaucoup ce disque il tourne beaucoup en ce moment euh, j'espère qu'il tournera aussi beaucoup chez vous et que vous prendrez beaucoup de plaisir Thai, I would like to say thank you so much uh, Paris uh, maybe said hello and I hope uh, you can see I can see you again in France <laughs> me too I, me too, hopefully in September yes, for sure, cross finger Uh, just before the end, Ty, do you have a message for the French listener? Uh, and I think uh, we have a lot of people who is listen to us uh, this afternoon. Oh, good. Thank you. I'd like to say hello to everyone and hopefully see you soon. Say so. Maintenant, on va écouter tout de suite pour terminer cette fantastique interview. On va écouter tout de suite Sister Genocide right now. Ty, thank you so much. Cross finger. Uh, for this release and cross finger of course uh, for the King Geeks who is coming and of course for touring in Europe wow thank you thank you very much I appreciate the time 